Designing and delivering a presentation can be tricky, and if you aren't a good public speaker, they can also be scary. Here are some tips to ensure that when it comes time for you to present on something, you will be ready. Choose a theme for your presentation, but be mindful not to make the theme too busy or too distracting. Choose a theme that is simple and easy on the eyes, so the audience focuses more on what you're saying and less on what's on the screen. When designing a PowerPoint, sans serif fonts are the best to use because they are easy to read. Make your font large enough to read, but not so large that your viewers have to recline in their chairs to read the message. Make sure Make sure to choose a font color that is easy to read and also, if you have an image as a background, you want to choose a font color that stands out and makes a word. Having minimum text on a slide is a must because you want to be able to explain your image or graphic on the slide rather than list a bunch of text. This way you can ensure that the audience is listening to what you're saying rather than reading what is on the slide and ignoring you. Rather than having slides filled with text, you should use a high quality image or graphic and explain its meaning. This way, as the presenter, you won't be compelled to be dull and read word for word off of your slide, and also the audience will be more engaged and interested in your presentation. Transitions between slides can be distracting and hard on the eyes. Transitions will distract the audience from your content, and they will also make your presentation seem very busy and can seem like overkill. An effective PowerPoint presentation does not end with the design of the PowerPoint. The next step to success is efficient delivery of your presentation. Here are a few more tips to help you with the delivery of your presentation. The more excited you as the presenter are about your presentation, the more excited your audience will be about listening to your presentation. The use of images rather than text will help with your storytelling because the audience will be forced to listen to you rather than ignore you. Being interactive and engaging your audience in your presentation is a useful tool when delivering your presentation. One way to be interactive is by including a hyperlink on your slide that interested audience members can go to later on if they are interested and want to learn more. Allow your audience a little heads up as to when you are going to move on to the next topic so that if there are any questions then you can address them before you get too far ahead. This helps to make your audience feel engaged and ensure that they take away something from your presentation. Use your own communication skills to emphasize when a point is important by speaking on its importance or by using body gestures. Stay away from PowerPoint tricks like animations to emphasize your point because they are distracting, make your presentation seem busy, and they also take time away from your delivery that you can be using more effectively. If you decide to use a video in your presentation, then make sure you allow the video to show your point rather than killing a dead horse by explaining the video and then allowing the video to explain also. Also, a good tip is to keep your video short and don't add any lengthy videos to your presentation because then you might as well not present anything and just show the video. Make an outline of what you intend on presenting before jumping into PowerPoint and getting started. That way, you can visualize your presentation better. Rehearse your presentation before you deliver it to a live audience. It is never a bad idea to practice. Like the old saying goes, practice makes perfect.